Hey again, everyone. Tim here, timscomputerfix.net. Hey, I'll do a little short video here. I want to talk about a cordless drill that I use. It's the Coleman 2.4 volt flash cell screwdriver. It's a pretty remarkable screwdriver, in my opinion. It's got the capability of recharging itself in 90 seconds with the base charger that it comes with. It also has an accessory where you have several different bits that that fit on it for anything from hex bits flat heads to Phillips head and I've even found a way thanks to a friend of mine Donald another technician who turned me on to a screwdriver kit I was able to find a lot more uses with this flash cell screwdriver here you see the bits that it comes with and these are just your standard size, number one, number two, number three, Phillips head, flat head, and hex bits here. This screwdriver actually has 35 pounds of torque that it uses. So you can imagine these larger drill bits here would be tough on laptop screws. But here is what I've been turned on to, the iFixit kit. This is a 54-bit precision screwdriver kit that can be found over at ifixit.com and it even includes an adapter that I can use with my Coleman screwdriver where I can use these precision screws it would definitely help me out on these laptops. Now this screwdriver has 35 pounds of torque. It runs at uh, 220 RPMs 5.4 volts. It has a 500,000 battery recharge life cycle. And it comes with a 10 piece accessory bit that I talked about, bit kit that I talked about. But this iFixit uh, precision screwdriver kit is definitely adds uh, features to, the, to my screwdriver here where I can use it on laptops. So here you see my, uh, the stand that it comes with. And um, basically you just snap it into place and you got a gauge that tells you how full the battery is. And, and when it's totally dead, it does charge in less than 90 seconds. And I would like to thank Donald over at iFixie.com for turning me on to the iFixit toolkit. A shout out to Fubar Johnny also for turning me on to the Coleman. So here I'm going to demonstrate the power of this screwdriver and also prove to you that uh, you don't really have to worry about stripping out screws. It's all in how you kind of hold the, the screwdriver. I hold it lightly in my hands so it doesn't strip out. You don't want to like push down hard or force anything so it really everything kind of goes in pretty easy with this as long as you've got the right bits. This is all about making things easier and reducing the less time it takes to you know, fix laptops. So keep in mind here, I'm doing this all with one hand while I hold the camera. Just to show you how easy it is. And I found I could do several laptops with one charge, no problem several laptops a day. I would say five or six easy. And this just makes things so much quicker and easier. And again, I'm doing this with one hand right now, so it's even faster if I can use both. Notice how nothing's being stripped out. Everything's going in nice and easy. And right here, I mean, screws come out the same as they go in. We'll remove one. I have a magnetic little piece of magnet that I have on the end of my tip there that keeps my bit magnetized, so that helps a lot. I 
tell you what, let's do a little test here. We're really working from the bottom of the laptop now, the bottom shell. We're going to put in a dozen or so screws, just drop them in their, their, their leads there. And um, we're going to time ourselves. We're going to see how long it's going to take to drive all of these screws in. It's a dozen or more. We'll just drop in these screws. And then, uh, and then, then we'll see, you know, just to give you an idea of how much time something like this might be able to save you as a technician. There you have it, a little over a minute. I think that's going to save you some time. Yeah, I'll show you here a little bit closer of how our adapter fits and the magnet piece that I use to kind of keep magnetization on my uh, tip there. But uh, the only issue with these flash cell screwdrivers is they're kind of hard to find right now. I don't know what happened to the flash cell technology, but uh, they're kind of veering away from it. So. You know, but there's other screwdrivers or devices that are similar that are battery operated that uh, that you may you know want to give a try. So anyway, I hope this video might sway you to maybe go and purchase you uh, some type of a uh, battery operated screwdriver in some form or another. It could save you some time on some of your repairs. And not only that, hey, it helps also around the house for home repairs. It's not just for computers. Thanks for watching my video. You can find me over at timscomputerfix.net. So until next time, everyone, see you soon.